recognition. Uh, the Select Board and Fire Department will recognize Remy Van Dusen, a recipient of the Young Hero Award. This award recognizes a child, family, or group of children who respond appropriately in an emergency by demonstrating key fire and life safety behaviors learned from a safe program. Chief Slamming, would you like to take the stand? We open the door. Chairman Tedstone, thank you very much, uh, Board of Selectmen, Mr. Kamalo, Elaine, thank you very much for having us tonight. Um, if I could have the honor, I'd like to uh, get a little bit of a team effort in this whole thing, so I'd like to position some people up here for the celebration, if that's okay. I'd love to see it. All right, so I'm going to ask uh, my first responders to work over this way. Uh, same police, fire, first responders, I want to get you right up to this area if I could. So you know why I'm still lucky to be fire chief? That's a good one, huh? That's a good one, yeah. <laughs> and I get to celebrate what somebody else does. So Chief of Hockington is really nice. You know why else I'm lucky to be fire chief? Because I'm going to watch the smile and pride of your dad's face and your mom's face and your sister when we present you with this Young Hero Award, all right? And the last reason is I like looking at other audience. We've got the fire marshal here state representative, all your school teachers and principals and educators that are here to celebrate. The community is watching on TV, so this is a big event. That's why I like it, all right? So to get started, I want to have our safe coordinator, Tim Healy, just tell us a little bit of a story, and then we'll get into your board, okay? Yeah, so Van Dusen was stung by a bee. Um, he went into his house not feeling well um, and he collapsed and he had uh, said I'm really in trouble and Remy had the courage and the education from the first responders and the educators to call 911 and guide the first responders to, uh, to his house. Um, anaphylaxis is a very serious um, emergency as I read the medical report uh, when they got there, his vital signs were critical. And uh, if it weren't for the courage and the quick action of Remy, uh, things could have been different, but today we're here. It's a team effort. This is a safe program that teachers and our staff work together. So thanks to the school system for allowing us in. And, uh, and then we can celebrate you because you produce results. I want to bring the fire marshal up next to give you your first award, all right? Thank you, Chief. Uh, members of the board, uh, good evening, everyone. Thank you for the opportunity to be here with you, uh, with uh, all these public safety personnel and the great job that you've done with the uh, partnership with the schools. Tonight, we're really here to celebrate the great work that you do, Brendan. And uh, I think it's, it's, it's remarkable um, because you had the presence of mind to react appropriately uh, when you're faced with an emergency. And a lot of people don't have that same presence of mind. Yes. So, in light of that, and what we've been able to do in Massachusetts is celebrate actions like yours with a Young Hero Award. And the Chief and the Board asked me to come by tonight and to celebrate with you and to provide you with this uh, Young Hero Award uh, presented to you uh, it's presented to you in recognition of your ability to react calmly during a medical emergency. You immediately called 911 after your father was stung by a bee and went unconscious. You provided the dispatcher with life-saving information and guided rescuers to your location. The outstanding bravery and quick thinking you exhibited has earned for you the everlasting gratitude of the citizens of Massachusetts. And as the state fire marshal and a member of this team, I'll extend that uh, uh, to be a member of this team. I want to extend our congratulations and a job well done. Congratulations. Thank you. Good job. Right. Now, this week, our theme across the nation <coughs> is not every hero wears a case. Plan your escape, right? And, and what we celebrate in part is the heroes and the heroic efforts of people. Uh, but we also encourage people to take this this week to make sure that your smoke alarms are working, to 
make sure that you have an escape path out of your home, just like you do at school, right? Uh, and to put more of the lessons that you've learned from these public safety personnel to work. And while I don't have a cape, there's only 371 other students in Massachusetts that have one of these shirts. A young hero shirt, and this is a gift to you as well. We hope that you wear it with pride because it really commemorates your actions and the recognition that very few people in Massachusetts have received. So it's not a cape, but for your heroics, I want to present to you with this shirt as well. A um, quick thinking, focused, and really just smart young man, and that, that you will be able to do this and act as you did under these types of circumstances is quite remarkable. Mm -hmm. And what I particularly like about it is that I bet all of your friends know what happened, right? And I think that you are also a role model. So if anyone else in this community has a situation like that, hopefully not, but if they do, I know they will be looking to you and thinking of your experience and thinking, I can make those quick life-saving decisions too, and that will really make a tremendous difference in this community. So for so many reasons, I'm really just honored to, um, first of all, thank you, and also read you this citation, which comes from the Massachusetts legislature. And it reads, be it hereby known to all that the Massachusetts House of Representatives offers its sincerest congratulations to Remy Van Dusen in recognition of your receiving a Young Hero Award for your life-saving actions on behalf of your dad on July 14th, 2019. A day that I am sure is seared into your memory, right? Yes. And it is, um, it says, the entire membership extends its very best wishes and expresses the hope for future good fortune, continued success, and many, many more achievements in your future. I'm quite sure, in fact, I'm, I'm sort of thinking about my job. I guess I better be, I think, you're, I think you may be running for office one day. So. Um, so this citation is signed by the Speaker of the House, who's the leader of our, our um, House of Representatives, and Carolyn Dykema as your state representative here in Hawkington. So congratulations to you. Thank you so much. The fact that you had the fire marshal, uh, Ms. Dykema come out, the fire department, the police, what you did, I'm sure you know, is about as cool of a thing that you can do. In a couple of years, when you really can process it and really figure it out, it's gonna be the coolest thing that you could ever do. No last minute football throw in college football is gonna even come close to the fact that your dad, because of your actions, your dad's gonna be able to watch you graduate high school, he's gonna be able to watch you get married, and he's gonna be able to have, hold his grandkids. And what you did is by far the absolute coolest thing. The man who presented you today, about a month ago, did the exact same thing. But you know what? That's what he's paid to do, and that's what he's trained to do. We came up here and talked what a great job he did. He knew what he was doing, and we expect him to do that. We don't expect you to do that. That was the coolest thing that I've ever been able to be part of as a member of the Selectman and now Select Board. So thank you very much from the bottom of my heart. It's the coolest thing that I've ever been able to do as a Selectman. So thank you very much and congratulations.